Bunny. Yes. Before we start, all the things I've written and all of my bits and yada, 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 we got a good episode. We're going to be talking about the Bible. We're going to be talking about a new game I've invented. Uh -huh. We've got another chapter of Mandela Effect Moments in popular music. Oh, good. A great notes from the bookstore, uh, homework, which is going to be very emotional for me. Before we, we, get we, anything, we, we have a listener request, though, as well. We have a listener request? What, is, <laughs> what listener request is that? Uh, somebody wants us to trash Trump again. Trash Trump again? Okay, that, that shouldn't be difficult. Okay. We will see what we can do. But before we get to any of that, before, before we even start the show, yeah. I just want to say thank you so much for this week's movie. It's so <laughs> funny because I have always wanted to see a naked uh, 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 Robert Crumb with Down Syndrome naked in an oyster getting a handy from a topless woman in a monkey mask. I have <laughs> yeah. always wanted to see that. I I've really, always... I really, look, okay, I really yeah. hope they gave him a happy ending. I I swear yes. to God, it would be so yes. cruel. You know, if you and I were making a movie and somebody was jerking us off, you know, I, I could yeah. see them being like, okay, end of scene, and you know, we we are there unfulfilled because we're not really there to be fulfilled. You know, but this guy's got yeah. Down syndrome, man. This is probably the first handy he's ever gotten from a from a woman with very large breasts in a monkey mask. Yes. You know, so I, I, I think it would be, I think it would mask. be really cruel if you don't finish him off. Yeah. 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 It, it, yeah. It's yeah. And I'm pretty sure it was Robert Crumb. Oh, yes. He looks suspicious. He did. Like Robert Crumb. So I just wanted to thank you for that. I always wanted to see a naked Robert Crumb in an oyster getting a hand job from a topless, big-breasted woman in a monkey mask. And well, now... Well, let me just put this out here first. has been realized. Yes. Let me just put, put this out here first. And especially after the second viewing. Yes. I really like this movie. I... I, I want to okay, see the now, others. Okay, now... I hated this movie to death, and I absolutely hated it, and, and it was a horrible thing. Until Natasha tried to watch five minutes of it. <laughs> At that point, this became the funniest fucking movie of all time. Oh, yeah. And it's oh, yeah, so funny because like, I'm watching this film going, oh, my God, this is horrible. Like Emerald came into the room, and I'm like, oh, my God, I got to turn because Emerald cannot see five seconds of this. Yeah. Emerald, 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 can, none of these kids can see like one second of this. But Natasha looks at this movie for like 10 seconds, and she's just so completely lost. And suddenly, oh, my God, this is the greatest movie ever. Yeah, there were some actual laughs in this. Yeah, I like uh like uh my human skin coat turns her on. Yes. That right there. I'm pretty sure that was in um uh Animal Crackers. Yes. It was a shit that was a Marx Brothers line that they took. But my favorite, my favorite now <coughs> these kids with Down syndrome are really hard to understand. Yes. Okay. But when we have that one scene when Kristen Glover is sitting in the chair, you can look at me now. Um, and he's like, what's, what, what am I called? What am I called? And the one girl said something and I didn't quite catch it. Okay. Yeah. But then the second, what kid, do you call me? What do you call me? And then the second kid said McFly. Yeah. McFly. I was yeah. like, Oh fucking shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And then Natasha's watching the movie, and she's like, God, how old is this film? And I, I said, would you believe 2005? Yeah. It's like, yeah, I know you're thinking 1982, 1979. Nope, 2005. Yes. It's amazing. He went back in time, made this film, and then <laughs> released it in 2005. 